A solitary sliver of police tape marks the spot officers searched. They dug on farmland in Sutton and Ashfield for more than a week, called when a member of the public discovered human remains. Today, they've been publicly identified as Alfred Swinscoe, a father of six, he worked as a miner and lived in the nearby village of Pinkston. He vanished in January 1967, for more than 50 years, his family never knowing why. Today, police spoke about what little information they have. So what do we know so far? Well, the answer is not all that much, actually. So we know that Alfred lived in Pinkston and was very well known in Pinkston. We know that he was a former miner. We know that he was in a pub known as the Pinkston Miners Arms. We know at some point that he left that pub and was last seen around 10.30 p.m. in the evening. And he's never been seen since. As forensics searched the ground, officers appealed to the public, an appeal seen on the news by Alfred's grandson. Seen with police today, Russell Lowbridge was just four years old when Alfred disappeared, but he'd recognized some of the items recovered in the search. A pair of socks buried in the ground possibly decades ago, yet leaving Russell wondering, did they belong to his grandfather? We never thought that the hunch I had would ever come true when we underwent DNA testing. Relief that we can finally put my grandfather to rest, but incredible pain and sadness to uncover what had happened to him. He was murdered and then buried so no one could ever find him. It has also broken my mum. She was only 25 at the time her dad was reported missing. She is now 82 and does not want to leave this earth never knowing why her dad was taken away from her so brutally. Whoever did this robbed generations of a grandfather and a great-grandfather and left six children without a father. Detectives have started to build up a picture of Alfred's life, finding out who he knew and, in chronological order, what happened on that night, including how his remains ended up here. Officers know this is going to be a difficult investigation. The original police files are lost, no doubt along with many memories of that time. And they're accepting of a possible truth, that not only did Alfred die, but that 56 years later, his killer may have too. Lewis Warner, ITV News, Nottinghamshire.